Okay, so today we're just going to briefly go over um, the method for taking advantage of surfers minimum curvature interpolator in order to produce uh, some nice interpolated lines that we can then use inside of our arc map environment. So um, I'm going to assume that you can get to the point to where you fired up Parstream Jukebox and you have initiated the software. Okay. So um, we'll open up. We're going to open up Surfer, and then uh, you're not going to have any of this data here. You're just going to have a blank, um, a blank instance of the software. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click uh, a new sheet because this is the data that's going to serve as the input for doing this like this. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a spreadsheet and um, let me drag this over here so that we can see this. Got a spreadsheet, and I'm going to I'm just going to I'm just going to grab everything, and uh, I'm literally I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it. Yes, there's ways to actually import the actual data. Um, there, this is just simply how I do it when I'm just sort of doing a one-off. Okay, so the header the header file is going to disappear. We need to delete it. I'm not going to remove it yet. The first thing that I need to do is really assign my X, Y, and Z columns. So to do that, I'm going to go to Data, Assign X, Y, and Z. In this instance, my Easting is my B column. My Northing is my C column. And the, um, the Z field, the elevation column that I want to interpolate on, um, it, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the top of this confining layer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to delete this field. And then it, right now it's just a sheet. I need to save this. I'm going to save it as something. You can see that I've created a, a uh, structure that accommodates all of my surfer data. And the, da the a data sheet that we're, we're saving is a, a DAT data field. I'm going to call this one Demo2. And then we'll save that. Say yes right here. Yes for this. And so again, this is going to serve as the input. Okay, great. So now that we've done that, the thing that we want to do is actually uh, interpolate this data. So we want to grid this data. And the data that we want to grid is the data we just created. That's demo dat two uh, or demo two dot dat and so um, I know that the X column is a the Y column is B and the interpolate the column that we want to interpolate is C um, I need to put a filter here because I don't want to interpolate uh, any zero values so uh, to do that, I'm just going to say, okay, I want to exclude everything where Z equals zero. Um, and we want to use the minimum curvature. And right here, actually, I think I made a mistake because I noticed my advanced options doesn't light up here. That means I, I think I've just uh, put in the wrong column. Yep, I probably did B is X. C is Y, and D is Z. So that's just, um, if that happens to you, you'll know that, oh, must have made a mistake. Okay, filter Z equals zero. That's what we want to filter on. And um, where do we want to put this output grid? You can assign that here. You can choose to have the grid report created or not. Um, you can also see that inside of, uh, there's some other options to play with here inside of the advanced features. Um, I have not followed through on providing um, a way for us to interpolate beyond the extent of our data. I'm sure that capability exists somewhere in this software, but for the purposes of this particular um, cut video, I'm not going to have time to go into that. So let's go ahead and let's click OK. Uh, I know that it's run over here because here's my, my gridded report. Um, I can see it excluded data based on Z equals zero. So that's good. 
Um, so I, now that I've done that, I need to go ahead and create a new contour map. I want to use the, the grid that I just created to do that. I'm going to go ahead and open that thing. And again, you can see it, um, it loads the contours into the map. And it just goes to a, a default setting for minimum and maximum contour, all of which are adjustable as well as the interval. I'm going to use one foot intervals and then um, great. So that's done. I've created my my data. I now just need to go ahead and export the contours. It's going to export the data per the parameters that you have filled out inside of the surfer environment. I don't want a DXF file. We're GIS Esri shop. We're going to make this demo 2. I'm going to put 2 in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and save this. And um, it, it's going to go ahead and it, uh, it loads that for me. I'm going to prove to myself that the data is there. And I'm going to navigate to the location on disk where this data lives. And this is my um, surfer data demo to shape. It's going to complain that it doesn't have a projection. That's correct. I did not project this data. I need to define a projection. And there's the data. We have it into ArcMap and life is good. So um, that's it. Thanks.